The Lord showed me a vision. Amen. And I want to, why we need to pray? Because I believe that this is going to be averted. Amen. Amen. I want us to pray against it. Amen. But this looked like I was, it's like I was in the midst, in a gathering of people who were talking about a planned attack. Amen. A planned explosive stroke. Um, I'd say terrorist attack. Major attacks. And I heard the I heard these two countries mentioned. At least more than once I heard the word London. London mentioned. More than once I heard London. London. Amen. But when I woke up from that vision, you know, I do not know, but the word Paris was in my mouth. Amen. Paris was in my mouth. But when I woke up from that vision, you know, I do not know, but the word Paris was in my mouth. Paris was in my mouth. But when I woke up from that vision, you know, I do not know, but the word Paris was in my mouth. Paris was in my mouth. So I'd like us to pray for France, Paris to be precise and pray for London of the United Kingdom that every planned impending attack by any organization will not prosper in the name of Jesus that it should be averted I'd like us to pray quickly three people are dead after a terror attack in London the London Yard says one of its officers lost his life protecting the lives of others this is a day we planned for but we hope will never happen sadly it's now a reality the knife-wielding man left at least 20 people hurt in a rampage that began by mowing down pedestrians on London's Westminster Bridge near the Parliament. Police killed the attacker, and as Tina Kraus reports, the British Prime Minister says the location of the accident attack was no accident. Terror struck the heart of London when a vehicle rammed into a crowd of pedestrians on Westminster Bridge. We just heard a bang, and then we just saw three people in the road. Police say the vehicle then crashed into the gates of Parliament. People were seen running for their lives. This attacker, who was armed with a knife, then ran towards Parliament, where he was confronted by the police officers who keep us and our democratic institutions safe. Tragically, one officer was killed. The terrorist was also shot dead. Investigators say a full-scale terror investigation is underway. We currently believe there was only one attacker I'm sure the public will understand us taking every precaution in locking down and searching the area as thoroughly and exhaustively as possible. The House of Commons, which was in session at the time, was immediately suspended and lawmakers were asked to stay inside. The location of this attack was no accident. The terrorists tro chose to strike at the heart of our capital city. Riders on the London Eye, a large Ferris wheel overlooking the capital, also had to stay put. Police say extra officers have been deployed around London. Tina Krause, CBS News, London. President Trump spoke with British Prime Minister Theresa May and pledged the full cooperation of the U.S. government.